we are in chapter 3 in this chapter we will be discussing why we actually need a special tool called progressive die wizard why can't we use just any other 3d software to do a die design the reasons being are yeah, like we can save a lot of time if we use this pro particular progressive die wizard it's very easy and it's we can eliminate a lot of uh, human error and since it's parametric it's always easy to redesign and redraw and it's very accurate and precise I'll just take you through a comparison of uh, total time taken over a period of time that is showing an example of uh, how what will be the time taken for a uh, an average uh, design engineer to hand draw this particular uh, uh, die and what happens when uh, years passed and the same designer started using 3D CAD model which doesn't have a unique progressive die wizard or something of that sort and latest is when he started using progressive die wizard so this is the component to explain just uh, taken an example to explain how long it will take for a designer in three different eras so when the designer was doing hand drafting in early early 1980s or 1990s he may take approximately four hours to develop the blank development uh, unfolding etc to develop the concept he generally takes half a day so to define or design a strip layout he might take eight hours because he has to draw each stages and drawing same component in different stages is very tiresome then he don't have uh, a standard die design uh, so he has to always refer a catalog of die design I mean die base sellers and it will take minimum of two to three days to develop the design and do a proper section so that all everyone else will understand the design and it will take four to five days to complete the entire detailing work of that particular die and if we had to change the component or redraw it god knows how long it will take so generally it takes 10 to 12 days to hand draw this particular uh, progressive die for that particular component in next when technology advanced advanced he started using a 3d cat software time he, he saved a lot of time but it wasn't so easy to use a standard cat software to design dice or molds his uh, conceptual design time has drastically come down but there's since there is no uh, special tools for uh, designing a strip layout he couldn't do that he has to again toil around and uh, assemble components one by one and he, he has to use his imagination to design a strip layout the die design has become very easy uh, he he will use uh, a common assembling techni techniques to assemble all the parts take sections and finalize the die design detailing has become very easy he has reduced one fourth of uh, uh, he can do now the uh, same detailing work in uh, let's say 20 percent of the actual time he used to take during hand drawing redrawing has come very easy because um, all those 3d cat tools are using parametric tools so a lot of association associativity is there so he has come down from 10 to 12 days to 3 to 4 days now next is when technology advanced he started using progress redivision conceptual wise uh, there's no much time saving but in trip layout and all those exclusively tools 
new tools for progressive dye wizards and he can now use standard dye bases by just one click so he has reduced a lot of uh, designing time in selection of uh, dye base and locating the slip layout in the dye detailing if we had standardized the uh, the detailing process it will definitely take not take more than three to four hours redrawing has just become become very easy so nowadays if an engineer use progressive dye wizard he can really complete the entire this conceptual design to releasing the drawing within one day that means eight to ten hours thank you